Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a scenario based on screen flow. Let's understand the screen flow scenario. So the scenario is we need to create any one of the following record related to account based on user's choice. So we need to create a screen flow where uh, these three options will be available as a choice. So if user selects contact so a related contact will be available under account if user selects opportunity then opportunity record will be there if user selects case then case so now i'm going to demonstrate you like how in a single flow we can implement this scenario so i just searched flow in the setup now clicking on new flow so I'm going to implement this flow from the beginning so that you can follow. So I am just selecting screen flow, clicking on create. Now, first of all, what I need to do, I need to create a screen where I need to show contact opportunity and case as an option. So selecting a screen, labeling it as object selection. Now here I'm going to have a pick list. So this is a single select pick list and uh, labeling it as select an object. Then it is required. Now here I need to provide the choices. So we don't have any pre-implemented choices, pre-configured choices, right? So uh, we need to create choices manually. So for that, you just need to create this choice. Now here, API name, you can provide as contact. Then choice label that will be available uh, at the label of that pick list. So that will be choice. And if you, sorry, that will be contact. And if you select that contact label, so what value you want to use uh, corresponding to that contact as a value. So you can just place contact here. So in simple words, we can say like uh, API name, label and value uh, can be same. Data type is text and just click on done. So this way, first choice as contact is created. I'm going to add one more choice. So here choice, then opportunity. So I'm copying and pasting it as label and value, clicking on done. Similarly, again, I'm clicking on new choice resource from here choice. And uh, this time I am writing case, providing a case as label and value and clicking on done, right? So this way, my this single selection pick list is created. Now I'm clicking on done. So after this, like user will be selecting any one option. So I need to decide which object user selected. So whenever we have more than one options and we need to select any one or we need to decide. So for that purpose, you can just select a decision element. So labeling it as check selected object. So here I'm writing uh, is contact. Now, I need to have the pick list uh, where all the options are available. So pick list API is select an object if it is equals to contact. So it will be one outcome. Then you can say like is opportunity. So select an object. So you need to select this uh, pick list equals opportunity. Then again, plus is case, then select an object equals case, right? So this way, these three outcomes are available and one is the default outcome. So if I click on done, so you will see four outcomes are available here. Now we need to do separate implementation for each of the outcome. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to separate them out. So just click on plus and click on end. So this way you will be having uh, these four flows, right? Flow lines. 
So here you will be creating contact, here you will be creating opportunity and then case. This is the default outcome, right? So let's first create a contact. So you need to click on plus, then you need to have a screen. So here I am labeling it as contact information. Now I need to search for text. So I'm just placing it, labeling it as first name, then having one more text and it will be last name. And I'm making it required because on contact last name is a required field. Now I'm clicking on done. So this way my contact screen is created. Now I need to create a record, contact record. So create contact. How many records to create one? How to set the record fields? So I am using separate resources and literal values. Then I'm selecting contact. So I need to map first name with the first name screen component value. Then I need to map last name with the last name screen component value. Now, one more thing I need to do. So as of now, I'm just clicking on done. So one more thing I need to do, like I need to place this flow on the account record page. So this contact opportunity and case should be related to that account. So I need to have account record ID. So I need to create a new resource as a variable and its API name should be record ID. So whenever through screen flow, if you want to fetch the record ID, you need to create the variable named as record ID. Here I is capital and everything is in small and its data type will be text. Then you need to enable this checkbox that is available for input because this variable will be receiving value outside the flow, right? Then done. Now open this element again. And here, like on contact, we have a lookup that is account ID. So we need to populate this record ID into this account ID lookup. And you need to click on done. So this way, this first part is complete. Now we need to create opportunity. So let's have a screen. So naming it as opportunity information. Now, first I need to have opportunity name. So required, then I'm having date. So it will be close date. So on opportunity, opportunity name, close date and uh, stays. These are required fields. So that's why I'm creating these three. So this is stays name. It is also required. Now here, what I need to do, I'm creating new choice resource and I need to link stays field that is available under opportunity object with this pick list. So I'm creating pick list choice set. So, so it is opportunity object data type pick list and field I'm selecting stays name then clicking on done. So it will be linked automatically. Now again, I'm clicking on done. Now to create opportunity, I need to have this create record element. So create opportunity. Then select this use separate resources and literal values and one record we need to create. Now here uh, you can select opportunity. Then uh, we can map opportunity name with name. So here smartly you need to select like first name, last name I used for contact and name I used for opportunity. So I'm mapping that. Then uh, close date. Then stage. So if you type stage, so here we have two things. So uh, you just need to select this screen component because on screen component, you will be actually selecting a particular stage. And if you want to link this opportunity, so you need to have this account ID and record ID. So I clicked on done. Now next is case. So let's check what all fields required on case. So if I open case tab and click on new, so here you can see status and case origin. These are required. So now I'm going to create a screen. 
labeling it as case information then pick list so we need to have status first so labeling it as status required and we need to link it with the pick list that is already available on case object so again i am selecting pick list choice set naming it as case status okay and uh, one more pick list i need to create that is case origin so labeling it as case origin require and here new choice resource and i am selecting pick list choice set case origin then selecting case data type pick list so case origin and done so this way the screen will be receiving two information now again i need to use create record element so that one case record will be created so create case same options one and use separate resources then from here i'm selecting case so we need to map status and uh, then we need to map origin and on case we have account id lookup so we need to store record id right so this way it is implemented now i'm just clicking on done so you can see like uh, this flow is completely implemented right now what we need to do uh, we can just save it create case or contact or opportunity and save right and uh, now i am activating this so i am just jumping to sales application opening accounts tab opening account record so here you can see two flows are already available so now i am going to edit the page so i am just dragging and dropping this flow component so i just dragged and dropped uh, it on the top like first and here i am going to select this flow create case or contact or opportunity and just enable this checkbox so that the current account record id will be passed to the flow save it go back so your flow will be available and uh, you will see these options create like you can create contact opportunity and case so on this record you can see we have one contact one opportunity and one case now i am going to create each record one by one so first i am creating contact and next so you can see contact is created now opportunity so opp 101 then uh, close date and then stage name and next so you can see opportunity is also created similarly if you want to create a case so from here you just need to select the values and just click on next so you can see case is also created so this way i demonstrated you like how through a single flow you can have a selection and through selection how you can uh, create different different records for different objects and those are related to account record